Funky D. Welcome back once again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today the news when I get for now says Amo Tekun Governor Abiodun speaks on withdrawing from security outfits. Yes, but before we go into the news, ladies and gentlemen, um, make I use this opportunity to tell those of you now whenever subscribe before make one subscribe, make one share, and make one make sure see that best sign when they there, make one press and so that any time when I upload, you know, I'll quickly get my video. So make we go into the news, okay? Uh, but uh, I go try to read more so that uh, you know, when I go get a little bit understanding on uh, what we want talk about okay the new the news reads Ogun State Governor Dakbo Abiodun has reacted to report making round on the plans to pull out of Operation Amo Tekun okay the Southwest Security Network named Amoteko has since commenced operations in all the six states in the southwest. Reaction have continued to trail the creation of Amoteko, which was launched on January 9, 2019. According to the news, ladies and gentlemen, Abiondo and Oshun state counterparts were absent at the inauguration of the security outfit in Ibadan, which followed speculation of their plans to withdraw from the operation. But addressing newsmen in Shagamu on Sunday, Abiondo denied reports of pulling out from Omotaku. He said, all the six Western governors jointly subscribe to the security outfit. We do not pull out as I was represented at the inauguration of the operation by my deputy. Abiodo added that his states has donated 20 operational vehicles to the initiative. Okay. According to what in the news they tell us, ladies and gentlemen, the news they tell us say this is Abiodun na governor. Okay. And the problem when they grant be see some people they carry fake news. See the man they withdraw from this same security outfit when the southwest governor or the southwestern governors inaugurated recently. But the man now they deny say in fact the whole six governors they're not shake body, they not move body now where they stand they stand. See that are more taken now their own security outfit when they won't take hunt down the Hesmin and the Boko Haram in the forest. So there is no going back for those of you now when don't they carry fake news, say the man won't withdraw. The man they clear everybody now say then they where then they the six governors from the southwest of the country all of them subscribe to the matter now it gets on rumors where they hear see the mayati allah and their cronies then they object but last time we see yarima come out come they claim see himself support the matter you understand say in the advice the northern governors to to do the same like the same thing when the yoruba people don't do you understand, but ladies and gentlemen, make I just uh, make we just take a look on this uh, matter concerning this uh, Amotekun and Nigerian police. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, a problem, problem between the federal government and the six governors from the uh, southwest. Now problem, now fight. In fact, already the news they tell us say Nigerian police don't they clash with this Amo Tekun security outfit. Problem day everywhere right now in Lagos. Because news comes, say men, some policemen wanted to arrest some Amo Tekun 
security men. But make we just take a look on the matter right now. Make we read a little bit again, then we go analyze them a little bit. All right? Just as I lead the way when they tell us for. Just as I lead the way when they tell us. Okay? Operational operation Omoteko carries illegal arms. Be arrested. Police one. OPC hunters. Okay. The police on Sunday strongly warn the Southwest Stakeholders Security Group working with the Western Nigeria Security Outfit. Code name Operation Omoteko Leopard. That is the meaning against any breach of security the police command in Ekiti, ogun and ondo state during separate interview with our correspondent said they would not tolerate illegal possession of firearms by the members of the group they said anybody in possession of illegal weapon would be arrested the sssg comprising the odu odua people congress the vigilante group of nigeria the southwest hunters association the southwest agbakoya group agbakoya farmers society group yoruba youth council and the community security awareness initiative corps of nigeria is led by Ira Ona of Yoruba land, Chief Ghani Adams. Lagos, Ogun, and Ekiti state governments had on Friday said they would recruit about 1,320 op operatives from the OPC and other groups for Operation Omoteko, which was launched by the Southwest on Thursday. Now, make we go into these people because, you know, personally, I think say now only the people when they recruit to be the Omotekon uh, security outfit, I think say now only them will continue to work as, you know, their so-called names, you know? Uh -huh. Now we don't hear now say OPC they inside the other one they inside the other one they inside where they want recruit join together to make up that Amotekon security outfit. But when you look it in the other hand, you will see say the OPC people, OPC people, not be a kind of group of people when they suppose merge together with this security their security outfit because there is a lot of corp uh, corruption in OPC uh, organization not be today we don't know their story everybody know the story of OPC right from the day one when they bring out that uh, name OPC they are corrupt they are not to be trusted but I just wonder why the reason when Southeast uh, Western governors, the talk say they must to put OPC and some other elements in the same security outfit. But guess what? I don't tell on that before. See, a big problem go break out be between Nigerian police and this Amotek. The federal government. We're not sure. We never did sure see federal government go support this Omoteko. And they talk so Omoteko. No good. You understand? Uh -huh. Very thin. Where they supposed to be see, they're supposed to separate that Omoteko and OPC. They're not they're not supposed to bring in OPC inside this new security outfit when they get in uh, uh, Lagos uh, 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 state in uh, Yoruba land. 
You understand? So, but we don't still hear where the federal government, they talk, say they never respond to this security outfit when Yoruba people bring, come out in public. So, meaning, maybe the federal government will not sure say then go support this kind of a security outfit. But it is good before to make sure say then tackle the issue of the insecurity in Lagos State and some other state in the Yoruba lands. You understand? So when you, if you bring in OPC to uh, to match together with these people, meaning there will be a massive corruption, massive corruption in this Omotako coming because OPC people. They are corrupt. OPC leaders, they are corrupt. Do you understand? But it is up to the Yoruba people, you know, to put OPC or to add OPC and other group in that Yoruba land. It's up to them to do whatever they like. After all, when they want to inaugurate this thing, they not put them in public. They just do it secretly, though, to take the government on away because they know. See, if the government know at the initial stage, definitely the government no go accept that kind of uh, thing to happen because we know the kind of people where them be. I mean, the uh, uh, APC led criminal government themselves they're not fit use police or army or our security where we get before take fight this insecurity that is why you see see some states they agitate say they want their own local policemen when go the police everywhere for them because the government not they do enough for them in fact the government not they do anything regarding the issue of insecurity in that country where they call the zoo so since the government not fit to do anything, then make the government allow the people to do their own thing. I mean the states. Then they claim every day, they tell us, say, uh, then get securities in place in that country. But we know they see their results. You understand? Instead of a policeman in Nigeria to save an innocent Nigerian person, then go rather pull out their AK-47 to shoot the innocent Nigerian youths. And again, because we don't see it in many cases, even that boy, when that Yoruba boy, when they killed last time, up to today, the guy not get justice. People, when police, they kill every now and then. No one, they get justice. So, the issue of state by state to bring in or bring out their security uh, outfits, meaning say, the crimes when they Nigeria go reduce, the crimes when they state by states, when they get this omotekon go reduce, that is the thing where they try to let us no, say the government not they do well, and all of us also see the government not they do well. Even the government themselves no say they're not they try. Check out where Boko Haram people then go they use army car, army vehicle, army uniform, army boot, army gun, everything what they use na army people get her. In fact, we don't see we don't hear another story again. Another news when concerned the army and the Boko Haram people. Where Boko Haram people carry army vehicles, wear army uniform, go stop people when they travel. In fact, those people when they travel, ladies and gentlemen, this thing they happen in the northern part of the country. Those people, policemen, they inside. Army people, they inside. Their wife, they inside. They succeeded. They stopped these people. They searched them. Then they kidnapped about six of them, including the policeman wife and the army people wife, plus children. So government not they do enough. 
check it out. If they get this kind of uh, road block, where did they get in uh, southeast and the south south? If they get them and they not in place, Boko Haram no go they travel up and down in the highway. But to show you, say these people, they not get them because they want to continue to oppress the southeast people and the south south people. In fact, they not get any roadblock in any northern part of the country. That is why you see here swing them, then they succeed. Boko Haram, then they succeed. ISWAP, then they succeed. They travel up and down with the military vehicle, police vehicle, police uniform, army uniform. They kill people, they kidnap people, they bomb people. They burn houses, ladies and gentlemen, because the government failed to put security in place for Nigerian people. Again, battle ahead between Nigerian police force and the Amor Tekun security force or security forces. Battle ahead. Serious battle. That is the federal government police and the Amor Tekun or any security outfit when they bring come out in that Nigeria and will not be from federal government. Problem was today. You understand because you know now nothing when gov in fact government not they take better advice people when they are around that man when they, they are when they are around that asorok they are all frontland people they know they accept defeat they know they believe say they know they try even if you tell them from now to tomorrow then they believe say that them be the best you understand so ladies and gentlemen now here we will stop the issue between the Omoteko and Nigerian police force. Begin the fight, they come, they never start. This one at the beginning, make we not forget, see, Nigerian government talks, see, they never answer the southeast, I mean, the southwestern governors. See, they must to answer them, but we never know within the government go decide. You understand? So, ladies and gentlemen, we will stop the matter here. So, uh, if you know, say you never subscribe to Funky D, make you the subscribe, make you the share, make you make sure say that bell sign your presence so that any time when Funky D Funky D upload, you go get my video. Thank you, everybody, and one love.